these little free libraries is just a, a house that's on a, on, on a stick and it contains books. It reminds me of a birdhouse. And that's where you put the books in and the kids, adults, or anyone that's interested in a book can come and take a book out. Unassuming places and then there's that cute little box. <laughs> and there's always an interest in the book. Me too. 24 hours a day, it doesn't matter. Rain, sleet, snow. There's a book always available to anyone that's, you know, interested in reading. Within, within a two-mile radius, uh, we have about 29 elementary schools. And when you look at the statistics of, 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 of the, uh, the impoverished community that surrounds the center, many of these families, um, uh, they don't own a home-based library for kids. And so the Little Free Library have given them accessibility to be able to get books and to start a collection of books uh, in their home-based library. So the Family Reading Circle is a really exciting program for us because it um, integrates um, a two-gen model that we have in another program called Cat Couples Advancing Together. And that program is for families, for couples who are parenting children together. And we're hoping to grow that model. And so adding this literacy component really supports those families and the families that we connect with in fatherhood as well, in the fatherhood programs and in the other programs at the center. So as Moses said, uh, we're trying to grow the families' libraries because uh, we know that many families have less than 20 children's books and less than five adult pieces of reading literature. And so we're hoping to change the trajectory of all the kids in our, in our um, neighborhoods. Los niños, los niños y las niñas les van a ayudar con la historia, okay? So, so the Little Library for us is an opportunity to bring people together to help bridge the gap and with this language proficiency um, that the families have for El Club de la Lectura, which is their reading club. Um, but the idea was again to reinforce um, the importance of reading for children. So seeing them share their stories and then have the kids telling the stories back is so great because you feel that that's helping and after that, they continue coming, so I think they like the challenge and the fact that they are coming makes me so happy. So the next step from this little library and the reading club is to use the library, the public libraries in Baltimore uh, as a resource. They're important because they, the little library brings a lot of people together.